Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 18th of April 2023. Uh, mm, voice doesn't sound that good this morning and I've got a long day ahead of me. Let's hope it lasts out. Anyway, good news to report folks. Um, <laughs> most important news of the day. George Santos is going to run again. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> I just wonder what he what whoppers he's going to tell between now and the next election. Maybe he's going to cure cancer between now and the next election, possibly rewrite the entire constitution of the US. Anyway, good luck, George. Uh, I have a feeling this time you might need it more than you did last time. All right, uh, this is the game of Sudoku. Now, Tuesday is always a pretty easy day. It's, it's, it's labeled as a medium, but in most cases, Tuesday is an easy level puzzle. Let's see what, how this one works out. You can see twos blocking as they are. I won't bother to explain the rules. So twos have to be in one of these squares blocking down here and blocking down here and across here. Um, if you don't know the rules of Sudoku, watch yesterday's game. Begin a game where I explain the rules. Um, let's do the same thing over here, shall we? Two blocks up here and two blocks across here. So two is in one of those two squares there, blocking down here, and two blocking across here will give us two there. Then we can say two across here and down, and up here will give me a two there. I think I need, I haven't had any tea yet. I need, I need a cup of tea. My, my mouth is very um, dry. I've just noticed it's going to, I should probably be messing up all of my words this morning. Um, not to mention my Sudoku. Uh, three is missing from one of these two squares here, so let's place that now because we know we have a blocking three here. So there's the three. Um, we also have three going up here and across here and into that square there. Ah, uh, three like the two blocks over here like this so that will be a three in those squares we also know it's going to be a two but we'll get to that a bit later maybe three blocks across here I'm not sure we'll, it's going to be super important I have a feeling this is going to be a very easy game all the way through here's a seven to fit here um, Okay, so in fact, let's do that. So we know three and two block across here and three and two block up here. So three and two are in these squares here. Then when we see the nines blocking up here, we know that nine has to fit into that square there. Uh, we also have nine blocking across this row and down these two columns, which will give us a nine in that square. We have nine across here, across here and up here that means nine goes here then we can say can we nine going up here oops going up these two columns and across here that was the final nine okay uh, we have one blocking across here so one is in one of these two squares blocking back this way then the one up there that gives us one in that square there Uh, missing numbers from this column are 5 and 7. Well, we've got the 7 blocking here, so 7 let's go there. 5 will complete this block. Um, 6 is missing from this row, but we see the intersecting 6 from up on high, and we know that the 6 will fit here, and the 5 will finish this row. Missing numbers in this column are 7 and 8. We have the 7 blocking across here. So here's the 7 and here's the 8. Um, looks like there's so much on offer. I'm not sure where to look next. Uh, what have we got? Six blocks across here and six blocks down here. Here's a six we can place. Four blocks across here, that puts the four into that square. Four up here gives me a four here. Four across here puts a four into 
that square, 4 up here and 4 across here, puts the 4 there, and then 4 across these two rows and up these two columns means that we have now completed the digit 4. Uh, seven blocks across here, that's going to put seven into this square. Seven blocks down here, that will give me a seven there. Uh, we also have sevens across these rows and up there, including that one there is blocked. Seven then will fit there, then seven down to the bottom here. We'll put the seven here. That's sevens out of the way, now we just need a one here. There's one missing digit here, which is a 6, I believe. Uh, one missing digit along here, which is an 8. And then we go 8 up here, 8 across here, gives me the 8 there. And uh, what's left in the bottom here? 3 and 5. Oh, we can't get those. We have just one missing number here, which is going to be a 5. We also need a 5 there, the 5 blocks down here that gives us 5 there, 5 going up here like this puts the 5 there. If you are new to Sudoku and this looks a bit fast, uh, just go back and, and watch it again, review. That helps me a lot by the way, builds my views, we just need a 3 here. Builds my views up on the channel and uh, will also give you a chance to watch it in a slightly slower time frame. Um, will be a bit easier if you're new to Sudoku. If you're not new to, Sudo to Sudoku, I'm sure this is pretty straightforward and easy anyway. I'm not doing anything technical here. One block's down here. Here's the one. One block's up here. That puts one in this square. One across these two rows gives me a one. The final digit one up there. There's only one number missing here. I believe it's a two. Uh, we also now have the twos blocking across here. That will give us a two up there, the last number to place here is a 6. 6 blocks this away and that away, so we get a 6 there. And uh, we also need a 6 to finish this block here. What's left? Up in this top row we need a 5, and then we have 5 blocking across here, which will give us the 5 there. And then we need an 8 here and an 8 here to finish. That's our so-called medium level game, but as expected, an easy game for a Tuesday Guardian. Bye-bye.